So our approach, if you are going to make new antibiotics, it behooves you to use an approach that could be generally applicable and not just, there's really no such thing as a magic bullet. There is no such thing. So a general approach that has a broad application in infectious disease is useful. And that is the approach we have taken in development of our drugs. Although we started with MRSA, our approach can go beyond that. So what has it been? When you're making a new antibiotic, you really have three choices. One is to just make another analog of something that exists. You're going to hit a brick wall very fast. A second way is to come up with a brand new chemical that works in a similar way to others. That'll probably last longer, but you're still going to hit a brick wall probably within a few years. The best way is to try to come up with a new chemical that has a brand new target that no clinical drug has and that the bacteria have not had to deal with yet. That will last the longest. Resistance will still come, but it will take the longest to come. So that's been one of the hallmarks of our approach, a new chemical entity with a brand new target. The second hallmark for us has been combination, but not just any combination, synergistic combinations. A combination of two drugs where together they work better than either one by itself. And that is how you prevent resistance from forming in the future and prevent the potential for side effects. You can even repurpose drugs that have lost their utility by combining them. So it's very powerful.